Alright, so basically today we're just going to run through a user test and today with me is my brother Mitchell and Hello. for this usability test we will be going through three different tasks. So for your first task you will be building a vehicle that would suit your lifestyle and feel free to explain what you're looking for and like why you're choosing such options. And um, if you ever have questions, please let me know. If you ever feel lost, I'm always here as well. So go ahead and start whenever you want. Okay, so I go to vehicles first. Uh, as a moderator for this test, I am unable to answer like leading questions, so I cannot tell you how to do something. But if you have questions, okay. otherwise, so I'm gonna yeah. go build something first. Yeah, build a vehicle that would suit your lifestyle. Let's see. I'll build my own. This car looks pretty cool. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, nice. I guess I have to. What is this? Body style, engine model. Okay. You know what? I'll go with the more expensive one. This one does sound pretty good. I'll, I'll put this one in my thing. Oh, nice. Wait, where am I? Body style. Wait. Oh, engine. Oh, and then model. Okay, I see. Uh, it only looks like there's a standard one. This one? Features, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Where can I pick? I guess I can only pick this one then, huh? Alright, sounds good to me. Oh, now I could go into my interior, okay. Okay. I was trying to see if I can, like, swivel this around, but I guess I can't. Oh, I have to open up the 360 first. Oh, that's okay then. So it looks like I can choose exterior first, interior, okay. Paint. Simple enough, this looks pretty cool. Uh, ooh, this seems, this seems pretty nice. No, that's kind of weird. Oh, let's go for the, the orange. Oh man, this is kind of weird. I can't, why does it scroll automatically? I'm so confused. Okay, let's go with this one. And then next. Visual packs, side vent, or whatever this is. Why did it get rid of my color? I mean, the, graph the chrome one looks pretty cool. I'll go with that. Wait, why did it get rid of my color? I don't like the scrolling for this. It seems kind of. Okay, so I guess I have to just save my thing. Alright, whatever. That's okay. Oh, dude, that's weird. Why'd that happen? Which one looks the coolest? Let's try this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Next, roof options. Black. Black contrast. Sliding. Oh, that's pretty cool. The sliding one. Alright, I'll go with this. Next, for my interior. Might as well match the inside and outside of my car. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like this one better though. Nice colors. What is this for? Headlining. But then I just pick that. What's happening here? Where's my where's my other option? Oh. I'm just like sifting through them while by clicking one of them. You know what? This is fine. 
But it changed my seat's colors. I want the seat color. Why does it change? Oh, maybe I can't do that option with that color. I'm confused. Oh, I guess it comes with that head lining. Finishes. Let's go for a wood finish. I always like a wood finish. Steering wheel. Wood and leather steering wheel. Alright, alright. Options. Go with that. Um. I don't know if I can add any of these things. Rear seat convenience rack. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll add one of those. Exterior features. Heated windshield. Oh, that could be really nice. Yeah, we'll add that. Tires. Yep, we, you always need a spare. We'll get a spare. Um, deployable tables with wood finish. Oh, it's zero dollars to add, might as well add. And was this spade sensing? No, I'm okay. I don't need that fancy stuff. Deployable cargo. Oh, this is pretty cool. Tailgating, you know I love tailgating, right? Okay. Finished. Base, yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Accessories, towing accessories. I don't feel like I'm gonna tow much stuff, so um, I mean, this part seems a lot smoother than the other part um, for some reason. I guess because it doesn't have to change the, this, the image of the car over here. No, I don't need any of this stuff. I'm just gonna skip that stuff. I don't really need it. Uh, whoa, okay. So this would be my total. Now, add to them. What, what do I do now? Well, it seems you've mm. completed task one. You've Save gone my through build. and completed the build. Um, so how was your experience? Would you be able to rate this on a scale from one to ten? Was it easy or hard? Um, I guess from a scale from one to ten, I would say around a six. Um, this is because, like, I guess it was kind of a little bit non-intuitive to find where to go to build the car. Um, I guess I had to, like, scroll down, and then I had to go um, look at the different car models and then build. Um, so then, once I figured that out, though, when I was in the UI for, like, um, building the model and changing the car, I was able to um, click the different options. There were a little bit of, like, a parts where the certain images would change or would deselect my options, which were kind of confusing and frustrating, um, which kind of made the experience a little bit worse. Um, I think in those aspects, it was cool to see my color of the car change and like the seating change and whatnot. But when um, it would revert those changes, I would have to like go back to those options and then click the other one. Um, and it would never tell me why the reason for that was. Um, so that um, kind of annoyed me. Um, other than that, like changing different options and going to the, like all the different accessories and all that stuff, like that I really enjoyed because it was pretty easy and seamless. Um, all the options were there, all the colors were there, um, all the prices and I could see exactly what I needed. Um, so I would give it a six just because it's, um, was overall like a decent to good experience. Um, but there are different, definitely areas where I was confused on what to click next, or um, there was no kind of guidance, or the, the flow of the, uh, I guess the layout wasn't the best. So that's why I give it a six. All right. Well, thank you. And mm -hmm. for the second task, your job will be to find the support page to request help about servicing and maintenancing your future car if you do, did own a Land Rover. Okay, so support. Yeah, and for future reference, forgot to mention this in the introduction. For this usability test, no need to enter private information about yourself. This is just for a demonstration. Okay, sounds good.
All right, let me go back to the main page. So support, let's see. Should explore. I'm guessing at the bottom of the page. <clears throat> There's no support. Wait, about not about I know. Ownership. Vehicle warranty services. Guides and manuals. Warranty service. That's not it. Shopping tools. Find a retailer. No, no. Software updates. No. Contact Land Rover. Uh, contact retailer. Contact us. Contact. Okay, so I found their phone number, and I found their email. Here. Okay. And if I'm the retailer, and yeah, okay, I found it, Evan. All right, great. So again, uh, one out of ten. Was this easy, hard, success, failure? That was a little harder. <laughs> there was no. <clears throat> Usually, um, the first thing I go to, if there's no like contact button on the top, I would always scroll to the bottom, just because I know that's where I can find um, all the information I need for. It's the little. Um, things I'm looking for so usually sometimes there would be like a contact us like somewhere on the bottom here um, but I couldn't find it here so that kind of confused me at first um, but then when I went to ownership actually and under like contact I was like that's where it was so it's kind of hitting which um, I would not have found unless I like searched through it like I just did um, when like contacting the and Rover should be one of the easier things to find, I think. Um, so like once I got here, it shows all the information, like phone number, email, retailer, or other stuff like that. But when I go to our ownership, the comments button's right here. So if I were to click this button like right away, I'm like, okay, it's a big button. So I see it um, and it's pretty easy to see too. But since it's not on the main, like it's on the pull down menu, like I would not have guessed to go under ownership for contact us because I'm not an owner, you know? So I don't, I wouldn't automatically go here. Um, that's why I would probably give this one a four, just because it's not intuitive, to me at least. Sounds good. Now for your final task of this test, we will be asking you to find the retailer page to find dealerships in your area if you were to buy a car. Okay. Go back to the main menu. Real tailor. Oh, here we go. Retailer. I right hear for you. Let's learn more. Um, partial retailers business commitment connected. Service. Is this even it? Retailers near me. No. Now they have their contact us down there. Okay. I mean, this is probably it. No, let's go to vehicles. No, it's not on the vehicles. Feel free to oh, restart okay. from the beginning as well, because you didn't go back to the home page when you were on the support page. I did go back to the front oh, this okay. page. Yeah. Find retailer. There it is. Okay, I found it. All right, so was that difficult? It seems you weren't able to get that immediately. Why was that? Um, I guess my option was, or for me at least, I would think that by going to the main page, there would be a find retailers near you button, or like a, are there, um, look at 
um, retailers that are near you, um, your location kind of thing. Which I guess that's what this was, but this one was kind of confusing. Um, this didn't show like an option, or at least I didn't see a clear option to uh, find a retailer near uh, near me. Um, so then I kind of scrolled through the top because I thought I could find it up here somewhere. It wasn't on vehicles because that's just all the different cars they have. But once I click shopping tools, oh, it's right here. Um, and it's pretty big. It's in the, kind of like in the middle of the screen, or like the middle line of the screen. Um, but then once you click that and you put in your, let's say you're putting your zip code, you'll easily be able to find a retailer near you. Um, so I'll probably give this one uh, seven. I think that was mostly on me, not the not the website itself, because this was pretty easy to see um, where it was, and I just had to click one button if I were to know. But then again, I didn't know where the button was, and it was kind of confusing um, where I should navigate in order to get to this page. Um, so then again, it took me a little bit of time um, when these things should be should take under like. I think like 15 or 10 seconds to find these things. Um, so that's why I give it a seven. All right. And do you personally feel like the the lingo and just the, the icons that this website has used has been impactful or helpful in any way? Because if you go back to the drop down page for when you found a retailer, is that like a icon that screams find a retailer? Um, I guess it's more of like a map symbol, like the map. Um, little drop like the, the little pin they use um, so I mean I guess for me I would associate that with like something on a map near me or like something that would be around me not necessarily like a retailer but then again I don't know if um, if it was maybe like a car symbol or something like that I would not um, look at it or my eyes would automatically glance that way um, because my eyes automatically fall on like these symbols, right? I think for this one, it's like I knew for this symbol that it must have been something that like I could find in my location just because of the little um pin thing that they use for um like maps and stuff. So, I mean, it works. Um, my eyes kind of like fell on this one automatically. So you know, I think it's it's definitely not the best symbol that they could use, but it also um helped me in regards to like finding it fast. All right, sounds good. Now, to wrap this all up, final thoughts about the website. Did you have any pain points and were mm -hmm. you ever frustrated during the process of using the Land Rover website? Um, I wouldn't say I was ever frustrated. I think most of these things are, I think a lot of this page, they're gonna show you like what is it, like offers and whatnot and stuff that like I didn't really care about. <laughs> um, so I think a lot of it is just like stuff I don't really need. Um, so let's say if like I were to want to contact them or find something near me, I think that's a little bit difficult when that should be, you know, if you're selling cars, you want people to go to the links and like the pages that will allow them to like buy cars. Um, but then again, maybe that's not their intent here. Um, but at least for me as a customer, you know, like, these big images they show me what the cars that they have stuff like that so i'm already like drawn in because you know these are really nice fancy cars um but i think when it came to actually shopping and looking at stuff it was a little bit clunky the buttons weren't everywhere that i needed them to be in terms of like where i thought they would be uh um, with these pull down menus uh like they work because there's only four of them up here um but then i wouldn't know which one to click um See, look here, there's a fine retailer here as well, but there's also like a fine retailer here too. Um, stuff like that, where it's like, and a fine retailer here too. Yeah, it's um, odd that it's not in the same like position for each of the tabs, right? Yeah, yeah, so that I don't know why they put like they decided to put these here and like here, so I don't really understand that part, but you know, as long as I find where I need to be at the end of the day, that's cool. Um, but definitely guiding me there was not the easiest thing in the world. Well, great. Well, thank you for taking your time to have this test with me. I really appreciate it Of a course. Lot. All right, thank you.